welcome back to The Oily Life. So today we're going to be doing a melt and pour soap project. We're going to be making a full body bar and basically all that is is we're going to be making a bar of soap that will act as soap and also act as a shampoo bar. So you can use it from head to toe. It's great uh, to have a bar like this because it's good for traveling. It cuts down on what you have to pack as well as it does help with uh, plastic waste because you're not using a plastic bottle for body wash and for a shampoo. So that's an eco-friendly uh, reason to make a bar of soap like this. So to get started with, I have two 8 ounce containers of Shea Butter Mountain Pour Soap. Uh, I chose a Shea Butter base because it'll also be very moisturizing for your skin and hair. I have color it in one of them and one of them is going to remain white and I'm just going to get these heated up uh, in 30 second intervals until they are completely melted. Alright so I have everything melted down so now what we're going to do is add in one tablespoon of argon oil into each container. Now the argon oil is great for your hair as well as your skin. It has a ton of uh, benefits as far as helping with frizz with your hair, um, making your scalp healthier and uh, more shine to your hair. And then it's just for skin, it's basically just moisturizing. So this is a great add-in for a shampoo and body bar. So we'll go ahead and get the argan oil added in. We'll just pour it in, that's gonna be quicker. I don't have patience for uh, the dropper. Okay, here it is in one. And here it is in the other one. Now I'm just gonna give those a quick stir to combine everything. And you do have to be careful with additives and melt and pour soap. If you add in too much of an oil or something like that, then it's gonna affect um, how the so it hardens up, um, sometimes it really won't harden up at all. So you do kind of want to be careful about overdoing it as far as any oils or anything like that. With eight ounces, a tablespoon will be perfectly uh, fine to add in. That won't cause us any issues. If I had been thinking there, I would have stirred the white one first. <laughs> but I did the color. Okay, so getting that all mixed together. And you could just leave uh, the bar white if you wanted to. I just added in the color for some interest, but you can totally leave that out if you want to. I wouldn't add anything in like salts or botanicals if you are gonna use it uh, as a shampoo as well. Um, that's just not something you're gonna be wanting to put in your hair. So that's why I just went with color instead of any sort of botanical additives. So next we're going to get our essential oils added in. I'm doing rosemary and peppermint, which are both great for your hair. Uh, both um, help with flaking on your scalp, uh, just nourishing it, get it having a healthy scalp. Um, Rosemary is thought to darken grays as well. Um, not as well as sage does, but it is thought to help um, with graying some. Uh, so both really good for your hair. And I'm gonna do 23 drops of each in each container, which is a 1% usage rate. You can go up to 2%, but these are both pretty strong oils. Um, so I'm gonna stick with one. Plus it's just a nice, herbaceous, bright, clean scent. All right, so I have the essential oils in, so now we're just gonna give each container a good stir. Love how it's smelling so far. And as far as essential oils go, I use Young Living Essential Oils. Uh, they're just a really pure, high-quality oil, and for something that I'm using on my skin and my hair, that I want. If you're interested in purchasing Young Living Essential Oils, there's always a link down in my description box. That looks good there. And once again, 
I stirred the green first. <laughs> I apparently do not have my big girl thinking brain on today. Got the white all stirred up here. All right, that looks good there. So I'm gonna get my mold over here. And I just have a six cavity rectangular mold. And just to give it that little bit of interest, I'm going to pour from each container at the same time. So they kind of meet in the middle, which should give it kind of a marbled effect. And this should make about four bars. Sorry if my hair is flying anywhere. The heat vent just kicked on. It's right under me. All right, that looks good there. Now I'm just going to spritz the top with some rubbing alcohol. The rubbing alcohol just gets rid of any air bubbles that may be on top of the soap. Spilled over a little bit there, but that's fine. Um, that way, it, it's just more of an aesthetics thing. If you don't have any rubbing alcohol, you can totally skip this step. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let this set up for two to four hours. We'll just see how long it takes for it to harden, and then we'll come back and unmold it. All right, and we are back to unmold our Rosemary and Mint Full Body Bars. I'm really loving the marble effect that these have. So you can see there, has a little bit of a marbled pattern. They smell really good. It has a little bit of an herbal quality with um, the peppermint. And as I was saying, these can be used on your hair. Um, the argan oil, rosemary, and mint will be great for your hair, but they can also be used on the rest of your body as well. And if you are trying to eliminate single-use plastics, these, are, these bars are a great way to do it. As you saw, they're super easy to make. And they're pretty affordable as well, and they make good gifts. You could give them out to family and friends. Um, so great way to not only help the environment, uh, but use a more natural product where you're controlling the ingredients, and it's something you can gift to family and friends as well. So I do hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, definitely give it a big thumbs up, and I will catch you in my next one.